right guys, you guys have seen these trucks, especially the green one, but I have Dennis here. What's up, Dennis? How are you hey, doing, how are man? how are you doing? Uh, well, he's got this, okay, I, I had to start with the unibody. I'm a unibody guy, though I don't own one. Tell me about this unibody a little bit. So, uh, it started out dead and forgotten. Yeah. Uh, we found an old uh, police interceptor that had been neglected and left for dead. Yeah. Uh, so we just grafted the uh, 62 unibody onto the police interceptor. Uh, not, has not won any drag races, uh, but it does <laughs> cruise. It has been from Texas to Missouri nonstop. It uh, drives well, rides well. It does what it does. It's oh, just yeah. a cruiser. Uh, we just set the stance where we wanted, and we just enjoy it. Enjoy it for what it does. And you said uh, police interceptor. For police Monday? interceptor. So it is a. It is definitely a '99 uh, <laughs> Crown Victoria, and that's. Basically, what we started with is a base, put this body on it, and it's no longer sitting in the field. That's awesome. <laughs> so, you was, said frame and everything? Frame is police interceptor wiring, everything inside uh, came from the police interceptor. Uh, the young man who had me build it, this is his first vehicle, mm -hmm. so he is continuing to do some of the little touches yeah. as he goes on his own. He didn't want me to do all of it. And it was originally a short bed? Originally, oh, you didn't have to body. do anything with that, huh? Didn't have to do anything oh, with wow. it. Oh, wow. And uh, he's finishing the interior and doing some stereo stuff now. Now, you say we and we did stuff. What what shop do you have? Uh, it's Farm Truck Racing. Oh, and we're yeah. out of Weatherford, Texas. That's where the... See, everyone, when they think of your the, the company name, they think of this green truck right here. And that's why the green truck was built. That <laughs> that's so cool. And this is your shop truck? <laughs> this is the old shop that's truck. That's shop truck. All right, tell me about this green truck here. We see a Coyote. What what gen is that? Uh, that's a Gen 2 Coyote uh, Pro Charge uh, on pump gas. It's 625. Oh, and that's pretty much where we leave it. Fun fact, these uh, fancy bumper you see. Yeah. And when we were... Uh, actually tuning for e85 and the truck does not like 725 horsepower so uh, <laughs> we've decided we're going to run it on pump gas and after we redid the uh bumper i want to keep this bumper on it so that's cool we we roll it just like this i uh, might steal that idea from you yeah. really sure. i kind of like that actually. we can drive it to the movies drive it out of town it doesn't matter nothing special done on internal nothing internals it's a gen 2 why, coyote why, why mess with something that isn't needed you know? yep yeah, they're good to about 800 horsepower yeah. before you have to mess with them so we've got you might have opened the door yes yeah, certainly got bluetooth stereo got a little subwoofer in oh, it look at those switches that's so cool uh, ac works it's texas we gotta have ac <laughs> yeah amen to that right <laughs> that's cool so we remounted the uh radiator to uh help with weight distribution as well as yeah, help right. keep that ac working good Hashtag condensers trucks. in the front okay and radiators in the rear so in texas traffic we're sitting there <laughs> you, you don't you're not worrying about we're it. not you're worrying like, about on. it all right, what uh, size wheels are these? Uh, so those are 15 by 15. Wow. And they are uh, 29 by 18.5 wide. Ooh, the bed's really actually cool. widened a foot. Oh, so yeah? that's why we have the custom tailgate. It looks a little meatier, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, if, like, like, if you didn't say that, I wouldn't have asked. But I now that you mentioned We tried it. to do it subtle. Traditionally, the bed is narrower than the cab on these, and it always looks a little goofy to us. A little bit, yeah. So right we've, angles, decided, but yeah. we've decided that the bed wider than the cab was the way to go. That's so cool. This you got a, a Pro Charger from the Pro, Pro Charger, Charger company? Charger. Or yes. what, what, okay. Yep. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yep. Oh, wow. Yep, so we run it, like I said, uh, if we're not at the track, we run it just like this right here. Yeah, this is awesome. The so front cool. half of it is a 2006 Crown Victoria, uh -huh. and where the cab ends is just custom back half from there. Uh, four linkish? It is a four link. Okay. Yeah, it's it's back half oh, four cool. link, nine inch, 1996 Ford Bronco. Oh man! It is no longer four wheel drive. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Devin from F100 Talk, man. There you go. <laughs> There's another load Bronco for you. Yes, and uh, no longer has push rods in it. We've replaced yeah. it with the Coyote. Cool. Six-speed automatic, just another great cruiser. Uh, we have not done any wire hiding or anything. It's literally built to cruise and enjoy. Yeah. So you started talking about the, su the suspension. I interrupted you. What, what, what have you done? Uh, so this one is a Crown Victoria uh, front end, under it, and then we have the Crown Victoria rear end on the stock leaf springs currently. Those wheels 
look like they'd get great grip in the rain. You know yes. what I mean? Yes, they, they work well. <laughs> That's cool. Is it's that a lot of fun? Is that gauge right there for you to be able to tune it so they can? Yes, yeah, uh, this one's tuned. This one runs the 85. Wow. Uh, this one's. We've done a little work to it. Stock she's interior, a, man. That's she's so a big cool. girl, so we had to get a little help on That's it. So cool. What about this one running right here? Uh, so this is a 1970, and this one we did from the ground up. Literally drove the truck in, pulled the body off the frame, and uh, did all all, all QA1 suspension, powder coated hey, frame. Has a nine inch with a three link oh, in the rear. Three link? Do you like three link better or? or? Then four link or vice versa? Four link is a drag car, three link is a road car. Wait, can you drag with three link? You can drag with the three link. Does the four link grip better? The four link will get less wheel. Okay. Yeah, I want to go drag. three link and I kind of want to, in my mind, I like to think I would do some kind of like local racing, you know, like. SACA. Yeah, but then the reality is I probably want to go to the so I want to be able to do both. You know? Three link do work. F body Camaros all have three links. You see several of those. At the front. Yeah, that's cool. But uh, yeah, so this has QA1 all the way in it. We kept the interior stock. This has the Viper Spec T56 in it, which makes this truck a lot of fun to enjoy. Six speed. Uh, six speed. All Willwood brakes. Willwood slave cylinder. Everything that Willwood would sell us, we bought so that it was a matching system. That's a theme. I noticed it's Willwood on everything. It's just kind of your, your, you like to look Willwood a lot. I've better. got a good relationship there with the go. tech guy. There you go. And when he tells me this part and this part works well together, they work well. And so I don't fix it if it's not broken. I like this interior. You kept it simple, man. We did keep it simple. It's even like the original. We like... wanted the whole truck to look like a stock truck that had been lowered. That's awesome. That was the whole so cool. goal. Uh, but then, of course, drive like a new modern vehicle to be able to enjoy the power, the fuel economy. Uh, hey, your your keychain says Chevy, man. What's up with that? We couldn't take <laughs> it off. It came with it. We had to leave it on there. Oh, that's funny. Just a little, little bit. We have humor. It was funny. There was a guy. Yeah, you get. I mean, that's fun for me. Uh, we had a guy. Or I had a guy come to my booth, and he was like talking to me, and he goes. He goes, you see that truck over there? And he goes, it's a lie. And I was like, what? And he goes, it looks like a farm truck that's just been lowered. No, it's set up perfectly and oh, all that stuff like that. And nice. I was like, so you succeeded. He got it. <laughs> it's he a, got it. It's a beautiful lie. No. Honestly, I think you did a great job. Yeah. Un understated and uh, under promised, over delivered. Well, yeah. What's cool is it looks like you, someone could door ding it and you're not going to freak out. Yeah, you drive it. It's kind of nice. You can enjoy you it. Know? Take your wife to the movies, go out, come in. Park on the front row if you would like. There you and, go. Uh, drive it in the rain. Drive it to work. Yeah, so cool, drive to California. Do you have matter. any? Do you have any social media or anything for your company? Uh, we are. We do have Farm Truck Racing Texas uh, on Instagram and Facebook. Okay. And we do have a web page as well. Uh, Instagram and Facebook is updated more often. Yeah, that's usually uh, where we go. Just because our phones are pocket. <laughs> there you it's, go. It's yeah. how we live. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, we don't build them, we drive them, we race them. There you we go. enjoy them. That's so cool. Hey guys, head head over there and check them out for sure. You got you brought you have the this is the main show that you brought here, man. There's 170 other cars, <laughs> but like trucks, but like look at this. This is freaking awesome. You, you even brought your shop truck, which is better than anything I drive. <laughs> but anyway. Well hey man, thank you for your time. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. You have a good one, man. Alright, you too. See ya. I looked right at it and I was like, yeah. huh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just, just, just chuckled. Yeah, it was good.